I'm gonna tell you everything you need about polynomials in MATLAB, how to operate on them and how to fit a curve of any kind to your data points. So watch until the end. Polynomials are functions that have this form. All of these examples are polynomials of different orders. You can define any polynomial using a function in MATLAB or using symbolic expressions. But there is a special way for defining them as a vector. As you can see, to define a polynomial, you only need the coefficients. And these coefficients can be stored in a vector. These are a few examples of defining a polynomial in MATLAB. So this is the general form of vector representation of polynomials. If a polynomial is of order n, its vector representation must have n plus 1 elements. Be careful that if a few terms are missing, their coefficient is 0. So here are a few more examples to practice. To find the roots of a polynomial, use roots function. So I define a polynomial and find its roots. As you probably know, a polynomial of order n has n real or imaginary roots. To evaluate a polynomial p at x, the general form is polyval p comma x. This command can be used to plot polynomials. So to plot p at this interval, I define x and y using polyval. Then I plot x comma y. To add or subtract polynomials, they must be of the same size. So you must manually add zeros to the polynomial of a smaller order. To multiply polynomials, use conv command. They don't need to be of the same size. To divide polynomials, use deconv command. Obviously, the order of the first argument must be bigger than the order of the second argument. Any division has a quotient and a remainder. If you ask for two output arguments, which I call q and r here, the first one will be the quotient and the second one will be the remainder. And to find the derivative of a polynomial, use polydere function. Other functions you should know are poly to sim and sim to poly. They easily convert polynomial vectors to symbolic expressions and vice versa. Obviously, the symbolic expression must have the form of a polynomial. Now we want to feed a function to a series of data. First, imagine our function has a polynomial form of order n. Then having x and y coordinates of the data, we type polyfit x comma y comma n. I have the coordinates of seven points. I visualize them with a scatter command. And I want to feed a line to these points. I type p equal to polyfit x comma y comma 1. This is my line and I plot it from 0 to 8. Of course, it cannot pass through every point I have, but according to the least square method, it is the best possible line to fit. Now I increase the order of my fitted polynomial. As the order increases, the fitted polynomial tries to get closer to my data points. There are 7 data points, so a polynomial of order 6 can pass through all of them. But remember that passing through every point doesn't mean it is a better interpolation. If I increase the order again, for example order 7, the problem becomes underdetermined, it's not going to have a unique answer, and MATLAB shows me a warning. In the figure window under tools you have basic fitting option. This is a fast way of fitting a polynomial to your plot. I can fit polynomials of order 1, 2, 3, and show their equations. I also plot residuals in a separate window. As expected, if we increase the order of the polynomial, the residual decreases.
I have seven data points. So for a polynomial of order six, the residual is practically zero. And if I ask for a polynomial of order seven, MATLAB shows me a warning, which says the answer is not unique. You can expand the window to see other options. Again, we have coefficients and residuals, and here we can interpolate any point with our fitted polynomial. For example, I find the midpoints and plot them. To fit a function other than polynomials, the best way is to go to Apps tab and select Curve Fitting. Having x and y coordinates for our data points ready, I select my x and y data. Now I have many functions to fit. I choose exponential and this is the general form of the fitted function. a and b are the two coefficients and these are their values. If I increase the number of terms to 2, then I have four coefficients with this general form. Go and check other functions. If you choose rational, your function can be a ratio of two polynomials. You can change numerator degree or denominator degree. To save your fitted function, you can either save the session and later open it in Care Fitting Toolbox. or you can generate code and save it as an M file. Thank you for watching. Click the subscribe button so you won't miss any tutorial and bye bye.